So this is something that foreigners can get these days and this is an equivalent of a Chinese ID card that you can uh, use to stay in China for, for a long time, precisely 10 years. And you can travel in and out of country with ease without any kind of visas or work permits and so on. And you can enjoy some benefits as a almost Chinese national. It's usually four types of people. Number one, uh, working staff. Uh, number two, somebody who's married uh, to a Chinese national. Number three is uh, special talent. And number four is uh, investment opportunities in China. So number one is someone who is working in China on a more or less senior position, having a higher uh, income and paying uh, quite a good amount of taxes. So China rewards you for this. Uh, number two, if you have been married with a Chinese individual for a specific period of time and you have uh, some requirements that you can meet. Um, number three is basically if you are someone with uh, higher education or in science related uh, area and you contribute to uh, development of Chinese economy or local economy. And number four, if you are investor and you investing a specific amount of money, again, for interesting projects that government will appreciate. Uh, that's basically four uh, types that we most commonly see people apply for. So number one, it's a hassle-free visa application. So you don't have to apply for a visa or work permit every year. You get a green card, China green card for 10 years and you have it. So this comes with a free in and out of country kind of entrance. So even with pandemic, we know that it's difficult to enter China now. But with China Green Card, you can go in and out of a country without any problem. Some other benefits would include uh, domestic travel, let's say uh, banking applications, insurance applications, loan applications. Uh, you could enjoy some medical insurances that foreigners sometimes don't get to enjoy. And generally speaking, ease of doing business. So uh, less, less applications to go through, let's say this way. So there are a few requirements that uh, number one would be basically you have to stay in China for some time. So it's usually minimum three months a year. We're talking about three calendar months and uh, that makes you keep this uh, per, uh, residence permit. Uh, number two is uh, that you have to make sure that you renew it actually in 10 years. So if you don't renew it in 10 years, well, you don't have it anymore. Um, Number three, it's very simple, so you have to obey the laws. This is very, very straightforward things. You have to obey the laws. You have to get this uh, residency permit uh, through uh, lawful means and so on. So My name is Victor. I'm from uh, Desert Shear and Associates uh, Shanghai office. And basically, if you have any kind of questions regarding uh, residency permit or maybe any kind of other uh, individual related questions in China, Feel free to reach out to us through our uh, online sources.